Good morning. Today we're going to do a primary oil change on a 2013 XL 1200. While we're doing that, we'll check the chain adjustment on the primary. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is remove the plug, which is right here. That's a 5.8 socket, and we will drain the fluid. It should be about a quart. With a 5.8 socket with a 3 h drive, I'm going to unloosen this plug. And let it drain. I warm the bike up. And then I'll pull the cover off. As I let it drain, I'm going to remove this inspection cover. Make sure you squarely got it in there. It's a 532nd. Nice and easy. You will notice there will be an O ring. Make sure you don't lose it. Very important. A lot of times they'll get crushed. That's why you know you really don't gotta over tighten, but check that it's there. With that, the fluid should drain easy. What we will do is check the primary chain adjustment. Should be like three eighths. I like it. They suggested to check it in three different spots. What I will do is get it into fifth. Now I'll check it in another spot. It's beautiful. This bike doesn't have many miles on it. Rotate it again. The third spot. It's just the same. Hopefully you can see the chain. Three eighths. We checked it in three different spots. What I did was I rotated the tire to three different spots. That's beautiful. You can see your chain, three eighths I like. So now by removing this cover and putting one quart of primary oil through here, we got to check this. Now, if it needed an adjustment, you got a seven eighths wrench. And I believe it's a quarter inch Allen head. And you do your adjustment down below. I'll show you right now. So now that we see this chain, 3 8 as we spoke, we got the 7 8 nut, you crack that, and with a quarter inch, with a quarter inch Allen head socket, you make your adjustment. Go a quarter turn clockwise, or a quarter turn counterclockwise, recheck your chain, and then lock it up with the 7 8 I like to use a box wrench, and uh, it's that simple. You can see it. And you just want that adjustment to be soft. Rotate the rear wheel and fifth gear to three different spots. They suggest that you make your adjustment on the tightest spot. Put the plug in the oil and put a quart of primary fluid back in. Now with a little thread sealer, I reinstall and this will never leak. You'll see I still got my rubber O-ring, but this, this little sealer, it's like an insurance policy. I hate leaks. Like the bottom. First, always thread 
the plug in. Nice. that we're going to put a quart of Holly formula plus transmission and primary chain case lube like I said we did it through the inspection cover I didn't go through the primary cover because I wanted to check the chain and realistically you know for you guys that do it at home to do it through here and the bike's on the kickstand, it's gonna make a mess. So, through here on the kickstand, and you don't have a mess. And you get to check the chain and get more familiar with your hull. You'll read in all the manuals, they'll tell you to take the primary cover off, the derby cover. I myself rather take this off, the inspection, and uh, you can do this in 10 minutes. Now you'll notice there's a gasket. got your little rubber. That O-ring is utmost important. Don't wrench it. People tend to really over tighten these and cause themselves a lot of problems down the road. I try to replace this oil every 5,000 miles. That. And remember, 5.30 seconds, Allen head socket. You use the wrong size, and it's a problem. We just did a primary oil change and inspected the primary chain. Any questions, just ask, and thank you, and please subscribe. Have a great day, and ride safe.